All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another deck profile. Uh, today we're gonna be going over the Greya. Before we get into that, real quickly, wanna give a shout out to our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't heard of 50 Cards already, it's an online one-stop shop for Cardfight Vanguard and Shadowverse supplies. So you can go on and pick up your bundles for Cardfight Vanguard, Gear Nation splits, full play sets of every card you'll need for any upcoming set. You can also pick up your Luard and Sherry New Stride deck sets when those come out. They have Shadowverse bundles as well. So if you want to pick up your neutral class or a specific class play set you want to get for set three, you can pick those up as well. Not to mention deck boxes, sleeves, play mats, all of those are also available on 50 cards. So be sure to check them out and get 5% off when you use code Nexus at checkout. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the deck profile. Jumping into the ride deck, our starter, Maple is our grade one, grade two Thagrea, and then the Path of Light Thagrea is our main ride line. So the reason we're doing the Maple grade one is because we want to be able to find it in our soul really quickly, so we'll soul blast it early out of the ride deck or out of the soul, so that it's in our drop zone, ready to be called back out when you persona ride. The grade two lets you look at top five, look for a card of Thagrea, add it to hand. So that can be your EPs, your order of Thagreas, either one. Light Thagrea, uh, let's you look at the top five, call one. If you have dark the gray on the soul, you can call two. Um, anytime a unit with the gray in its name rides on top of it, it counts as a persona ride automatically. And at the end of the battle that it attacked, if you have dark the gray on this, uh, if it rode on top of dark the gray, you can choose a rear guard and restand it so you can get some multi attacking. So that is the ride line. Now going into the grade threes. Starting off, we got our four. New Thugria, EP to Justice. So what happens when you ride EP on top of any of the other Thugrias, light or dark, you automatically activate Persona Ride per their card effects. After that, you resolve EP, have EP have the same name as the card you rode on top of, light or dark, search your deck for any unit card of Thugria, put it in the soul, then its act ability lets you discard a card, choose a card from your soul that's different than the card that this rode on top of. You can then ride it, by binding this card face up, writing it on top, therefore writing on top of a card with a different card name. You kind of get where I'm going with this. You're basically using EP as the middleman to get your, to write dark on top of light, which is really cool. And on top of that, you can re-trigger Persona Ride, meaning that extra 10K is now 20K. If you got the order card, it's now 30K instead of 15K. So. Just huge power to the front row, which is really cool. Next up for grade threes, we got our three copies of Dark Thugrea. So what Dark Thugrea does is when it rides on top of light, at the end of the battle that it attacked, you can counter boss one, discard a card, restand this unit with drive minus one. So getting another Vanguard swing, which is really cool. Has another ability where if you have light Thugrea in the soul and you retire two rear guards, you can retire a column of your opponent's rear guards, which is also kind of helpful. So what's really cool about Dark Thugria is that when it has a similar ability to Light, where when you ride a unit with Thugria in its name, it counts as Persona Ride, any Thugria unit. So that way, when you ride on top of EP, you, or when you ride on top of it with EP, you get that extra power, which is really cool. So the goal of the deck is basically to ride this the following turn, ride this, search this from your soul, or from your deck, put it into your soul, use the act ability, bind this, rewrite this, activate Persona Ride twice, because you just did all of that. So very cool little combos going on with this deck. Lastly, for our grade threes, I am running one copy of Gwendolyn as a tech. What Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn does is if you Persona Road this turn, it gets 5K and when it attacks, your bone has to guard with two at a time. So it's really cool with this is that when you have this on the rear guard circle, you have Light Thugrea, Swing, you have to guard with two on top of the big power you got from the double Persona Ride. We stand it with the Grea, it swings again. Hopefully you got some crits out of that. It's a really good finisher as well with the light the Grea. So I like it at the one. And that's pretty much it for the grade threes. We're gonna now jump into the grade twos. Starting off, we got our four copies of Maple. When it's in the drop zone and you ride, if you do not have another card with Maple on the board already, you can call it from your drop zone. And it has a glitter ability for Thugrea. So if your Vanguard's Thugrea, at the end of the battle, this attacked, Soul Blast one or more cards, totaling the sum of the grades of the cards you Soul Blasted. You choose a different card from the Soul, add it to your hand, moving Moth into the Soul afterwards. So it kind of helps you 
filter out the grade threes in your soul, adding them back to your hand, and then using maple itself to go back into the soul for future soul blast costs. It's mostly cool for the fact that you can just call it from the drop zone for free every time your persona ride, which is really cool, or just every time you ride in general. Then next up for grade twos, I am running the four copies of Sparrow Cutie. Spiral Cutie is really, really good in this deck because you're Persona riding nonstop. So Spiral Cutie is when it's discarded for writing a card from your ride deck, you can Soul Blast one, put it back to the bottom of your deck, draw a card. So that's really helpful as you're building up to your ride line. Second skills, when it's placed, if you Persona rode, Kennel Blast one, look at the top two, add one to hand, the other goes to top or bottom, meaning that you can filter for triggers, which is really, really cool. So this is, for sure really good because you're persona riding constantly so you're always going to be able to get the effect off so i think this card is great at a four of in this deck then i'm running three copies of retrospective dragon so what retrospective does is it lets you for the cost of soul blasting one and discarding a card you can search your deck for a grade two or grade three order card and put it into your hand it only works if you have a the gray of vanguard which means the minute you ride to grade two you are ready to go for the skill to search out that order card to make sure your persona rides are 15K instead of 10K. This is just a really cool card, the fact that you can filter out the order. Second skill and a battle at attack, you can retire another rear guard, give a glitter unit 5K. That's kind of whatever in my opinion, but the 5K doesn't hurt, you never know. Then lastly, for a grade two normal units, two copies of Drilling Angel, just because filling soul for free, maybe you'll find a copy of another card you're looking for as you're looking through the top three, but you know, it's mostly for filling your soul Maybe early game, if you have dark in the soul, you throw it back into your dark in the drop zone, excuse me. You can throw it back into the soul real quick just to get light the gray's effect off immediately. So it helps, but I feel like the fact that the main issue of this deck isn't too much about making sure we have plenty of soul to work with. So you could drop these down, increase the drilling angels up to you, but this has been working out pretty well for me. Um, if you feel like you want to run extra drillings, go for it. But that is pretty much it for the grade twos. Now we're moving on to grade ones. Starting off, I got three copies of Wayward Therapy Angel, just because we are discarding a lot from our hands. So when this card is discarded from your hand, if you have a grade three Vanguard, Soul Blast one, call this back to rear guard circle. And it is a 10K grade one, so it cannot be ridden or normal called from hand. So basically you're going to be calling it either from the deck or from the drop zone by discarding it. So I feel like this is just a really helpful card. It's a 10K booster and we are discarding quite a bit. So, you know, get that going for the deck as well. Lastly, for our normal unit grade ones, I got my three PGs just because we're running the one Elementaria. It's just the one, the same PG as always. If you have two or more in hand, you have to discard. If you have one or less, you do not have to discard. So just rolling with those for now. Then we got our trigger units. Starting off, I got the Spiritual King of Aquatics. It's it is Sirio. <laughs> Ido Serio. This is the one that gives a crit and lets you add a card from drop to hand. So I find this card convenient just because you do need to discard a lot for certain card effects, for light degrea, dark degrea. So at least guaranteeing that even there might be a specific card you want to discard. Maybe you want to discard the Wayward Therapy for the cost during the battle phase. It helps, but the most important thing is the crit for me. Being able to put a crit on your van your restanding vanguard or put a crit on a really beefy rear guard that could potentially seal the game the other over trigger the uh red one uh the spiritual king of flames i believe it is it lets you restand another rear guard so that's also a really good thing if you want to run that instead i just like this just because it's a ninth crit in the deck and crits win games then moving on to our crits i got four blade feathers just because they're crits with skills and they can fill the soul got four more vanilla crits so we got our eight crits technically nine because of the over trigger we got our three fronts because if you run draws you will deck out and i got my four heels i'm sticking with vanilla heels for now just because i feel like i can't really figure out which matchups i'm going to be playing against in tournaments these days restanding rear guards vanguard or units gain extra crits so uh, I'm just sticking with the vanillas. They work fine, so you should do the same. And that is pretty much it for the triggers. Now we're gonna go into our order cards. Starting off with the orders, I am running the two copies of Oath of Vengeance, the Grea, which is a promo. This is the one where it's a set order, and whenever you Persona Ride, the Persona Ride lets you draw two cards instead of one, and you get 15K instead of 10. So that means if you're double Persona Riding, you're getting four cards in hand and 30K to the front row 
pretty sick. And we got a grade two that searches it out. So the two copies works just fine. We got our one Elementaria because you need Elementaria to get around Guard Restrict and Triple Drive with G units. Um, but alternatively, you could also run the Regalis piece Blitz Order if you wanna run four regular PGs. That's another option. I think both work fine. Um, this is just pretty consistent just because getting around Guard Restrict is nice and it's basically a fourth PG for, you know, lack of a better word. So this has just been working nice for me. So thanks for watching the deck profile, guys. I always appreciate you guys coming out and checking out what we're cooking up with our decks. Hopefully I can show off a game or two with this deck in the near future. Till then, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and be sure to check out 50 cards and get that discount with code Nexus as well. And that's it. I'll see you all in the next one.